Looking locally tonight, the Franklin County Sheriff's Office has announced they made a major break in the case of a woman who went missing from her home in 2019. While this case is far from over, authorities tell us it's one step forward for the family and for investigators to start the healing process. The Franklin County Sheriff's Office announcing they have found the remains of a woman who went missing in 2019. Based on the location and the valuable evidence recovered at the scene, we are positive that Estella's body has finally been found. Commander Marcus Connor with the Franklin County Sheriff's Office says a tip led them to the buried remains of Estella Torres Rodriguez. The 54-year-old was last seen at the home she was sharing with her son and his girlfriend on March 28, 2019. Family members called for help on March 29th after no one could find her or get a hold of her. We initially went through the house and started finding um, some evidence that, uh, you know, there was a struggle there. There was an assault, most likely a homicide. Commander Connor says investigators were able to piece together evidence Estela's son, Clemente Rodriguez Torres, and her estranged husband, Tiburcio Rodriguez, had been at the home. The case progressed quickly after that. Who's unaccounted for? Um, and we started going down that list. Uh, which, you know, fairly quickly led us to Tiburcio and Clemente. Why aren't they here? Um, everyone else is here. Why aren't they? Commander Connor says while the two fled to Mexico. By the time that we had developed enough to be able to, to go and, and grab them and either question them further or take them into custody, they were already outside of our reach. Volunteers, family members, and law enforcement search for Estela. Her remains found more than four years later, the week of July 3rd in 2023. Commander Connor says this is a case that has been with law enforcement a long time. After you take your uniform off and go home at night, your brain doesn't stop. You know, so even though they're now at home enjoying time with their family, they're still thinking about this case. What, what could I have done different today on my shift? What should I do tomorrow on my shift if I've got time to work on this? We as law enforcement are still realizing how much these types of cases affect us. Today, Franklin County Coroner Curtis McGarry found it hard to hold back his emotions as he spoke to the family. We will continue with the process. So you can have your mother's remains returned to you. While the case is far from over, Commander Connor says it's at least a step forward. Unfortunately, it does, you know, kind of end the chapter in, in hoping, um, but it at least allows them to start that healing process. Estela's son Clemente, charged with her murder, is currently in jail and awaiting his trial set to take place later this year. Her estranged husband, Tiburcio, still at large and last thought to be in Mexico. Despite the years, Commander Connor says the investigation won't stop. It's heartbreaking. It really is. And, and we understand that there's humans involved here, you know, and uh, we, we take that personal uh, when somebody does that to somebody in our community. And, and we're going to do everything we can to bring them justice. We'll continue to track that case for you as we learn more, both here on the air and on our website, applevalleynewsnow.com.